Uh, I'm, uh, you know, I'm very impressed by your um, Minister of Foreign Affairs, um, and I see some of the speeches. Uh, one of the things that I think is clear for both the UAE and for, for India today is we don't need to choose sides. How does a country like yours, a city like yours, navigate these geopolitical headwinds? And by the way, uh, technology is perhaps the new battleground for all of this. So how do you uh, keep your head down and navigate, navigate these choppy seas where uh, you have these geopolitical tugs and giants battling it out in, uh, in old and new theaters? How do you manage that? Um, historically, the world was uh, a world where it was either unipolar or bipolar or tripolar, where you had to choose sides. Uh, I'm, uh, you know, I'm very impressed by your um, Minister of Foreign Affairs, um, and I see some of his speeches. And uh, one of the things that I think is clear for both the UAE and for, for India today is we don't need to choose sides. At the end of the day, politics is determined by the best interest of certain parties. And the best interest today does not mean alienating someone for someone else. Uh, I think that model that, that existed historically is unfortunately no longer here. Today, a country needs to think about their own best interests, but needs to think about how their best interests do not harm others. Right? So, for example, me working with India does not mean that I can't work with the U.S. And does not mean that the three of us can't work together. And I think the I2U2 example is a great example. One thing we are doing as a country, and I think this has been, um, uh, you know, uh, uh, informally, but uh, uh, absolutely decreed by our president, our current president, is we will be a country that fights for peace and a country that works with everyone. Uh, 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 a great example of that is the Abrahamic Accord. So when most countries were shunning Israel, we said for 80 years we've been doing the same thing. It does not make sense for us to continue 80 years to do the same thing and not get results. Let us work together and let us try to find a way where we can achieve you know, the outcome that everyone wants, while at the same time developing together as nation. The same is true uh, as well when it comes to technology. I think historically all of the models that we brought in, cultural models, uh, technology models, societal models, were from the West. Uh, today, the, the examples that we need to do are examples that are balanced. We should not be um, you know, sensitive about our culture. We should not be sensitive about our history. We should not be sensitive about you know, our needs as a, a, as a global population or as a local society. So uh, I'll give you an example. I think the influence of Bollywood today on people in the UAE is huge. People watch Bollywood. They have an affinity towards India. I don't think it should, it should only be Hollywood. The same with technology companies. Today, some of the Indian unicorns are coming and dominating the UAE market and the regional market. I think, well done, we should do more of that. It should not be a one-size-fits-all. And the moment that you do not actually match or, or uh, agree with a certain mindset or agree with a certain direction, that you get affected or you get threatened. Because at the end of the day, you know, um, the, the local characteristics of countries are different.